Hi, hello, good morning. It is around 7 a.m., 7:01 a.m. on a Monday morning. Devesh, hi, good morning. We are on the terrace already. It is a very bright early start to the day. Frame mila? कैसे करना है? We're starting the day super early because we have a couple of things to shoot and we want the morning light for it. I am in yoga attire and uh, we're going to get to filming Instagram content. Today we're shooting client content and uh, we wanted to get this beautiful subaka golden hour. So here we are. Nikita will join us in some time, but फिलहाल हम फ्रेम रेम चेक कर रहे हैं Hi, we finished shooting video number one this morning. I'm back in my um, night suit with very little glam and earrings. Actually, for glam today. I have just done concealer, blush. I had to set the concealer in for sure. Mascara, eyebrows, and lipstick. I didn't do any highlighter, bronzer, even foundation, and nothing. And I can like hear my stomach rumbling because I didn't really eat dinner properly properly last night. Um, so I have my eggs cage wall over here and chai. And everyone is going to sit and have nashta in a bit. Uh, I need to have my nashta right away for sure. and uh, then we have one more video to film before i can say okay now i'm going to take it easy i have a bunch of calls lined up today so even after i finish both the shoots that needs to happen for verified we're really 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 hoping to try and get our next product out sometime in april the dates are being worked on semi good juju i need to you know the thing is Everyone says they're going to get things done on time but with factories and especially when you're coordinating with different factories and different vendors for like different elements of the same product there's a lot of logistics that goes into it so I really hope that all of it comes together I have three calls actually four one for another different product also so three calls for our next launch and one call for a completely different launch uh lined up later today so the team is working on like edits and phone calls and stuff like that meanwhile i just finished some of my other work and i've just sat down for nashta number 2 I'm really hungry this morning. I'm having kheer puri that mama had had made for me at home and since I went there yesterday I got it back home. I'm one of those people who loves ghar ki banayi hui kheer and puri. Normally hum ye niyaz ke time pe karte hain and uh, mama ke niyaz ke time pe meko covid ho gaya tha. So I couldn't go over there for nia for niyaz but she sent it here and then she made it again clearly and sent it to me and she's going to make it again she said once this gets over. I'm one of those people who loves kheer puri so much that any time I get kheer puri till the time that supply lasts i land up having kheer puri for nashta and i also land up having it for dinner and then i just i love kheer puri and mama makes it beautifully deliciously i'm salivating tea ki mai hello 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 i am done with all my shoots for the day i shot two client things once i want to take my makeup off and i'm going blank i really need to declutter the space i have been saying this for the past 3 days and i have not yet gotten down to it um i need to declutter this space and remove the products that i am not actively using give them away to others i'm done with my shoot for the day and i was thinking that you know what i want to use a nice face mask and just look after my skin today it's 2 pm the team will leave now any time they've come in at around 7 this morning the wish came in at around 6:30 6:45 The others came in around seven. I've been up since around. I think I woke up around just before six. 
the sunrise today was so beautiful like the whole sky was like orange and i hadn't even put my glasses on but i could see the way the entire sky was like in sepia mode it was looking so pretty i put my glasses on faster than i normally do it was a beautiful beautiful morning today in case you're wondering i literally just used some johnson's baby oil to take off my makeup i feel like when my skin needs that boost the jolt of hydration i gravitate towards something that's really nice and oily because i do have dry skin uh, i'll link everything i'm using down below this is the pixie toner again something that i really like i haven't done like a makeup favorites kind of a video i want to i want to i want to i want to confess and say something i throw in all of these beauty and fashion things vlogs ke andar but i do miss doing sit down videos if i'm being very 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 honest the reason i'm not doing just sit down videos anymore is because i realize that's a little old school youtube now in a sense that do people still watch those i don't know maybe in my experience i'm confused about that is because when it comes to my channel views they've gotten slightly not like great but slightly better ever since i just started putting everything in vlog format so those of you who are women and are here for the beauty content and stuff like that you will still enjoy all of these nitty gritty little details that i give about fashion and beauty but maybe you're just not into sitting down and watching a 20 minute long you know video like sit down format and you know i don't know i miss doing them so i'm going to confess and say that for sure but uh, if you want me to do like an empties update video cuz i do have empties collected at this point um of favorites we'll keep it vlog style if you prefer that but i want to do some of those <laughs> but, uh because i do have ideas and i do have thoughts and i do have opinions that i would love to share with you 100% Okay, I took a couple of minutes to just go through and see what mask I want to use. You have seen me use this one before a couple of times. Uh, I have used this, I think, three times. उसमें से कितने बार ये vlogs में आया मुझे पता नहीं. But vlog पे कहीं ना कहीं तो I have used it before for sure. I really like the way this makes my skin feel just soothed. It makes me, which is literally what it's called, you know? Oh my god, yeah, it's called a soothing toning jelly. Um, I wish they had this in a cream version. I don't think they do because this is Pixie. I'll leave, leave a link down below. Nothing is sponsored in this video. I'm just literally using products that I currently have. Um, some that I bought, some that came in PR. I am enjoying using this one. I wish. What I was saying was, I wish they had a cream version of this. And the reason I wish they had a cream version of this is really simple. It's because for a dry skin girl like me, that this soothes down, and this is a gel based one. it would have been so nice to have something that goes i mean i know even this will go deep and all of that but just really really nourish you know what i mean We're applying this everywhere um i actually also kept the eye patches aside over oh, complete coincidence <laughs> this is also pixie i use a lot of pixie products clearly um i was going to do the eye patches on with this and then put the mask everywhere else but they kind of uh, do a similar job i think so i'm just going to do this in the eye area also i need to do my upper lip little little hair has started coming and i want to take care of it okay i'm done i've got a nice mediumish film all over my face of this product i'm going to leave it on for a good 15 20 minutes and once i feel like that cooling sensation is kind of gone away which means it's soaked chuka hai it's done its job finished khatam khalas <laughs> i'm going to go ahead and uh, wipe it down you can you wipe it down with a napkin wash it off wipe it off with a wet wipe whatever you prefer um That's where I'm at right now. It's Rian's birthday today, by the way. I was talking to him on the phone earlier to wish him, and he was like, "Oh, come over. I'm thinking of having just a few close friends over for dinner, like a little biryani get together." And uh, I definitely want to go. I'll check with Jerry how he's feeling about it. Also, he's also obviously invited. That's why. Um, but for now, I'm gonna go and rest. I've been up for quite a while, and uh, I also want to have lunch and then the bye. Hello, hello. What's the time? Um, it is three ten p.m. My team left about like some of them left around half an hour ago. Nikita just left. Nikita's off for the rest of the week. Like off in the sense, she's doing like remote working. 
semi holiday she's going back to indore to meet her family for holi and spend the weekend with them so she'll come back to work on monday she just left and um i have not yet had lunch they've all had lunch and left and i am just in one of those moods where um there was a lot of like verified calls happening and i need to finish my lunch because i have another call scheduled for 4 pm but bahut bhook lag rahi hai um today for lunch we have chicken lollipops these are basically like homemade chinese style chicken lollipops and they're like the first time ram is making them cuz earlier i've made them my mom's made them my previous cook used to make them so he's made them a little bit differently um but i'm very hungry i'll give you a little review later okay so one of the questions i get asked really really often and i thought i would bring jerry on for this little bit is um discussing some of our favorite shows if you've been around on this channel for a while then aapko pata hoga ki jerry and i actually like to watch very very different things our choices in entertainment are as different as chuck and cheese i'll take cheese i'll take chuck i guess then because you hate cheese anyway mm. <laughs> um i am Going to mention a couple of shows that I'm watching, and you should mention a few that you're watching. You want to yeah. start? Yeah. Like for context, his shows are a little bit more serious. No. Mine are a lot more time passish. Not like, really. I mean, well, I like mindless comedy too. Oh, my favorite shows are Anam. I was gonna say, look at who you marry. <laughs> That's my favorite show. <laughs> mindless comedy. I'm a mindless comedy. No, but seriously, we do genuinely have very different tastes in uh, entertainment, and his stuff is a little bit more heavy, if that's the right way. To... No, you, you're not. No, I'm being <laughs> such an ass. No, I mean like genuinely, like the kind of content you consume online is <laughs> a little bit heavier. Like I watch the lighter, fluffier stuff, um, and I watch some serious stuff, but he watches. mostly and only serious stuff yeah. there's barely anything that he watches is mindless comedy except for me and whatever i'm watching at night before going to sleep that is usually random yeah, nonsense not, that he's subjected to yeah but i mean nothing not, is being watched out of choice nothing else comes close to your mindless comedy or are you going to spit your chai almost made me name a couple of shows na or movies we just watched the adam project together just now on netflix so we watch movies together and the reason we watch movies together is because we cannot do shows together apart from the fact that our choices are different the timings don't timings match. also actually i was going to say that but jerry if you think about it our timings are pretty similar I mean, except no. we have same time pe free time so we want to watch what we want to watch so he'll be watching something on the ipad and i'll be watching on my computer or on the tv or the other way around <laughs> It's okay. Our choices don't match. Yeah, everything doesn't have to be like one hundred percent aligned. True. That's fine. Okay, mention some stuff that you're. But I watch better stuff. Sure, whatever makes you happy. You do have better taste than me for sure. <laughs> Mindless comedy stuff. <laughs> okay, okay, mention now. All right. Uh, so there's billions on odd stuff. Which you've been telling me to watch yeah, for a while. Yeah, which I've been mm. begging you to watch for a while. Mm -hmm. You will like the show. What was that other show on Hotstar that I was telling? You? Succession. Succession. We I watched. both watched and liked that. Yeah, yeah. but separate. Yeah, we watched it at separate times. That was a good show. Yeah, another show we love in common is Newsroom. Yes. Must watch. Again on Hotstar, Newsroom. Yeah. Uh, apart from Crown. that, The Crown. Yes. Apart from that, currently I'm watching this show called Snowpiercer on Netflix. Very interesting premise. If you're into science fiction, that kind of stuff. Very good. Started off as a movie, and then they made it into a show. Why are you looking at yourself? Look at the camera. I am. Oh, okay. Not used to this. It's okay. Ah, the <laughs> Snowpiercer. Yes. I mean, yeah, more or less. What else Those are you watching? Currently, what I'm also watching is something called The Last Kingdom. Okay. It's about the Vikings and stuff. Mhm. Mm the next on the list is Vikings Valhalla, which is the sequel to Vikings the main show. Did you ever watch the Valhalla Murders? I had asked you to watch the Valhalla yeah, Murders. Yeah, I, I watched it before you did. No, you hadn't watched it when I asked you about it. I watched it. When I asked you, you said nahi dekha hai. Dekha. Le. I watch all murder mysteries before you. Yeah, I really enjoy murder mysteries. Murder mysteries, I will watch any time, any day. What he doesn't watch so is horror movies. Yeah, he the murder mysteries. It. She why she likes watching is because basically she's making notes and tips to kill you. 
I'm not going to get you. Are you sure? Yes, I'm very sure. Some days you want to. Some days I want to, but I will never actually do it. I think all husbands and all wives would that is in those certain moments want to kill their spouse, but we don't no, actually I want to. No, I never want. The Lando, last seven years, never. Just shut up. No, in the last seven years, never. Shut up. Never. Don't lie. No, I wanted to shut you up in the bathroom. ट Okay. Um I watched shit. I watched so many episodes of Mrs. Maisel. I've I'm caught up with the marvelous Mrs. Maisel, I think mostly. I watched uh, I watched so many things when I was down with COVID that now I'm blank on how much did I see. Can I tell you what I definitely did see? I got the Hi You app, Hey You app, sorry, and I watched I had already seen the first 5 seasons of the Real Housewives of Beverly Hills. And I watched Hills. the last season. Uh you didn't. You watched glimpses babe. Okay at night. Uh covid ke time pe to aap mere bazu mein the hi nahi main isolation mein akeli thi. To jo end ka aapne dekha after isolation tab. Usse samajh gaya na ki bakwas hai. Ha but Netflix pe sirf I think 4 ya 5 season hai. Uske baad wale jo bhi seasons maine dekhe hain I I I'm watching on Hey You and Hey You basically is reality TV only. So they get everything in real. sounds like an integration sponsorship it's not. Uh although I have worked with them in the past. But I got the subscription and the three month का subscription I paid three hundred something but there was a huge glitch with my subscription. Apple से भी मेरा पैसा गया and Amazon payment से भी मेरा पैसा गया so whatever just giving you a heads up and I watched all of season six to because I was on Netflix ना season six से लेके season eleven I watched on the Hey You app and I finished. There are eleven seasons. Eleven. Those first five are also on Hey You so if you don't have Netflix you don't have to get Netflix for this. Um the Real Housewives is a franchise after this that they started like how I was watching Beverly Hills they have New Jersey they have Atlanta they like five six cities um Mumbai huh that is that uh, fabulous lives of bollywood wives jo tha na fabulous lives jo main dekh rahi thi ha you watched a couple of like scenes with me when i was watching it that is the mumbai version of it um but basically that's essentially what the series premises and i think i've watched a couple of episodes of new york or something on netflix long ago or whatever but it didn't look so interesting so i'm done i'm only going to stick to this beverly hills wala um chapter the og chapter um i watched so many things but now i can't remember anything i say okay, suddenly you try to remember now the thing that you should try and watch is peaky blinders mm. on netflix again i've been asking you to I watch did. You did? Yeah. When? Oh, a while back. I watched the first couple of episodes, and huh. I so didn't take to watching. it actually, na. That's not really watching. I don't think it. I took to it. Oh well. Oh yeah, Peaky Blinders is good. Peaky Blinders is great. Ozark on Netflix again. Yeah. Must watch. Which Nikita has also been telling me yes. to watch. Yes, it's again your kind of show. You like it. Okay. Whatever. What kind it's of show is murder. my kind of show? It's got murder. It's got money. It's got. Um, What a my kind of show, and then you go on to say it's got murder and it's got money. That sounds very deranged, it's, Gerard. It's got electrocution. I have nothing to say to this man anymore. Okay, the, I also want to give you a little bit of context as to why he thinks I watch absolute garbage, and I'm sure we've talked about this somewhere in these vlogs because मेरा तो इसने फुल चिट्ठा खोल के रख दिया है कितने vlogs में मेरे बारे में. It was. <clears throat> I can't remember what it was. I landed up watching this show featuring Drew Barrymore that I thought was a funny rom-com show, and it wasn't a funny rom-com. What was the name of it? Some Santa Clara Diet. You remember the name of, of it? Of course, sir? I'm scarred. So I landed up watching. I putting it on and thinking. I really begged him that night. I remember this is when we used to live in the old house. I begged him to watch it with me, saying, "Watch something light and funny with me." It was the end of the episode. We realized the show was a gory show about a woman that turns into a human eating cannibal. Cannibal. Um, uh, she turns into a cannibal and is a weird mix of a human zombie or something like that. 
and it yeah it's it's pretty gory so don't watch it's hilarious so i can't do gory okay one sec so here's the thing and this is a really weird line so i'm going to sound like a complete idiot but i'm going to put myself out there and just be honest about this it took me a lot of effort to get through and get used to the amount of goriness in like let's say game of thrones which we both have watched and loved except for the last season um yeah and uh i can't do gory but the way the santa clarita diet does gory is hilarious like she is sitting there and eating a human being like tandoori like tandoori chicken it's just funny it's got a funny element to it yeah it's disgusting it's disgusting and it's gory and i'll tell you but there is comic timing and a comic angle to the way that show has been shot because it's also got a family element in it like this woman in this context has like her daughter and husband helping her they go around like thoda se spoiler de rahi hu they go around but zyada nahi don't worry uh, they go around finding dead bodies to feed it to the mother like it's just funny the way it's been constructed the whole show is really just funny i don't think it went beyond a couple of seasons or whatever i watched everything that was out at the time um but if you have an appetite for just random brainless uh there's a good story to it but like gory with funny then watch the santa clarita if you can't do gory then don't watch the santa clarita diet uska warning mein pehle se de do so uh this is not the first time uh the first time was on uh, new year's eve uh my dear wife wanted to watch something extremely romantic and i finally figured yeah fine okay fine let's give it a shot that's it yeah. i always ask you to watch uh, some rom com type so things. there is this record that i always go to sleep whenever she's tried convincing me to watch her stuff Start off with Sex and the City. I went off to sleep in the middle of the movie and the show. Uh, so anyway, so this time I said, okay, fine, we'll give it a shot, etc. Started watching this movie. Started off as a rom com, turned out to be a serial killer. Which movie? Is this movie? I keep forgetting that actress name. We like that actress who comes in these teeny tiny rom coms. Arey, it's the same one. It was a movie. I remember half an hour, half an hour, forty minutes. We're going to say this is a rom com. You want to watch? On New Year's Eve, Jerry, it's the same one. It's not the same. I can't remember. I, I think will it... try and figure out and let you. It was a movie. I still remember that actress is pretty famous for doing these wrong. Who? Hilary Duff, Drew Barrymore, no. Jennifer Aniston, no. Jennifer. The other one is who? Lawrence. Jennifer Lawrence. Who Lawrence? Jennifer Lawrence. Okay, I don't know. Anyway, that's a little summary of all the shows that him and I are watching at the moment. If you are also married or have a partner and you uh, <laughs> can't watch content with your partner for whatever reason because your choices are different, clearly, just uh, hopping in here to tell you it's K. Do stuff separately sometimes because I like to watch my own shows separately. Like I'm gonna go back and I'm currently watching um, Upload on Amazon Prime, which seems so interesting. It's like it's this. Black Mirror slash techie slash light moments also version of how after you die, your brain and your personality gets uploaded onto this cloud, and somehow people who are still alive can talk to you through the app because the app takes you in like your personality. So like you're a player on a game, let's say, and you can still just seem really interesting. Black Mirror again is something we both watched by the way since I mentioned it. Black Mirror. Done with enough soap saga time. Hi, it's literally barely only 9:30, and uh, Jerry has a really bad headache, and I have a really bad stomach ache. I think I'm getting my periods. Ah, <sighs> we're gonna call it a very, very early night. Plus, I'm up since like 5:36. I don't even remember what time I woke up in the morning at this point. I think just before my alarm. So whatever time that was for. The WFM comment shout out goes to Shalu Sharma. Thank you very very much for watching my videos. Use the hashtag WFM when you comment. I love you, and I will see you in the next one. Say bye, G. <laughs> to unwell people.